question is that I my little girl goes to school and she has compute music classes compulsory for another year. She's six year old. My husband saying that instead of stopping music, we should let her continue that for one year. But I feel like I'm extremely sinning right now. Mm. Is this enough dawa on my part that I can constantly tell my husband to quit it, or am I supposed to physically stop them? Well, thank you, Sister Warda from Pakistan. Obviously, those who recognize the truth, uh, they have a completely different perspective of life and what they have to do versus what they should abstain from doing versus those who are not being practicing and they think life is life and we're not going to be different than any people. And subhanAllah, the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, described that those who will be holding on to their deen and religious commitment, like they're holding on burning coal. And he said they will be perceived as ghuraba, strangers. And he said, fatuba lil ghuraba. So may the Almighty Allah grant paradise to those people who by the end of time would be looked at by the rest of people as strangers. What? You don't drink? What? You don't hang around with girls? You don't listen to music? Or you don't shake hands with men? You're weird. You're strange. This is how many of us are being looked at when you start practicing the deen. Like, you know, come on, man. You, you, you know, you shouldn't be different than people. No, I should be different. I should be distinct. I should do what is right, no matter what happens. Even if the whole world around us is corrupt and is wicked. I should not just follow blindly what people do, even if it is wrong. So when you ask, by the way, in Pakistan, you follow the Hanafi Madhab. Do you know what Imam Abu Hanifa says in the Hanafi Madhab? about music and musical instruments, listening to music is a major sin. This is, a, you were talking about Imam Hanifa here, because in this part of the world, we say Hanafi means, you know, everything. So if you're following Imam Hanifa, he is one of the most strict when it comes to musical instruments. So you mean that the scholars, the predecessors, the Sahaba and the Tabi'een, understood from the Prophet وسلم, that as Muslims were not allowed to play or listen to music and musical instruments, yes, except the duff in weddings, in festivals, in, uh, you know, Eids, in graduations, but under regular circumstances, the piano, and the guitar, and the rest of the, the flute, this is not permissible in Islam. And this is the opinion of the four Imams of the four schools of thoughts, Hanafi, Shafi'i, Maliki, and Imam Ahmad uh, ibn Hanbal. May Allah have mercy on all of them. So I go to school and I ask, well, my kids do not listen to music and they should be exempt from uh, the music classes. We will live in a Muslim country and the husband and the wife should be on the same page. Allah blessed us with offspring and we invoke Allah to make them goodly offspring. رَبَّنَا هَبْ لَنَا مِنْ أَزْوَاجِنَا وَذُرِّيَّتِنَا قُرَّةَ أَعْيُونٍ وَجْعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ إِمَامًا Don't we ask Allah for a goodly offspring, for righteous children? Yes, then work on it. Try to make it happen. Now, we come to the point where you said that there is a conflict of interest and my husband is not convinced and he says, no, I will let them do. You've done your part. Do not fight with your husband. He is blameworthy before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You told him several times and you keep telling your kids that in Islam we don't do this. If he still insists, he is the one who is blameworthy and you are not blameworthy.